boy, boy, oh boy. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Morning, afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to this place we like to call the mental house. Now, you know, I consider myself a pretty closed-minded person. No, no, I don't. I, I consider myself a pretty open-minded person. I can listen to anything. However, when it just crosses my, um, makes my hair stand up on my neck, I know how to move around. I know when my instincts are telling me this is not the place to be, and I'm obedient to that. I didn't always have that spirit of discernment, but um, as I've gotten older, of course, it's much more prevalent. And I know good and well a divided house can't stand. So there's a story that comes out about Brittany Mahone, and she endorsed Donald Trump. And, um, of course, Taylor Swift don't want to be seen nowhere, nowhere near her. And nobody else that's sane and rational at this point. So I'm trying to figure out why, uh, what goes on in the Pat uh, Mahone household. Okay? Is she one of these types? Like I told y'all, I had a, well, an acquaintance whose wife was um, the signature white woman. Blonde hair, blue eyes. And everybody thought she was so beautiful. And she married the black jock. However, I think one of the most controversial arguments they'd ever gotten into, and I had a grown man on the phone that I had to talk down from choking somebody because this woman had called him the N-word. And for those of y'all who act like you don't know, it, it, um, it rhymes with trigger. Okay? All right, because y'all know how YouTube is. But this is a, um, a article uh, <laughs> that came out. And, of course, um, you know who helped it along. The, the most insubordinate person, in my opinion, sports writer. However, we're not going to get into that. But he observed that the press isn't having anything to do, and they're trying to keep her off camera, talking about Brittany Mahone ever since she endorsed Donald Trump. Now, if that is the case, I don't blame him, because um, here we have a biracial man a black father that shows up at all the games, pretty much. He's got two sons, at least, that I know about by a white woman. And one of the sons is a superstar quarterback. And he married a white woman that says she endorses Donald Trump. Make it make sense, people. Make it make sense. Okay, the wife of Kansas City Chiefs quarterback Patrick hit the headlines last week after appearing to back Trump by liking several posts on social media. And then she then sat away from Taylor Swift at the team's NFL opener on Thursday night. Now, while the camera captured Swift's every move as she cheered on her boyfriend Travis Kelce, there was no airtime. Not at all for Mahone, despite her being front and center of the broadcast last week. Um, people are just done with Donald Trump. And if you would vote for him, people don't have no choice but to know who you are. Either you a racist piece of shit, you believe that men should be able to control women and their bodies and every damn thing else. So you down for the handmaiden's tale. And there's just no way around it. And if you a black man married to a white woman like this, then you have been called, in my opinion, you probably will never tell the truth. But I bet you when she get mad, she have a, 
a rope for you. I bet she says things to you that you wish, that you wish that you could get out of without hurting her. Okay? Because they know to do stuff like that. Many fans took to social media to question the reason behind NBC's decision not to show her. On his YouTube uh, on Friday, uh, Fatlock said, I find it very interesting. I find, I feel like nobody is talking about this. I tweeted midway through the third quarter. I can't believe they're not going to show her at some point. Yeah, because most, you know, unfortunately, I, I mean, I don't care. I'm sure uh, Mike Trick, Tirico and Chris Collinworth wanted no part of having to comment about why she's been in the news cycle. They made her part of their story last year. It's interesting. Now she's my favorite NFL wife that she's on team. Now that she's on team MAGA, I want to know more, more about her than I want. Then I do Taylor Swift, but I got nothing. Okay, so this is um, the commentator. Alongside the video, he posted the caption, Now that she's Team MAGA, NBC is too scared to show her. Brittany and Taylor's decision to sit in different VIP suites for the Chiefs win over the Baltimore Ravens set tons wagon on Thursday night. And fans question whether the besties from last season are no longer. Well, the Daily Mail stands uh, understands that the pair are still close and party together after the game at a local cocktail bar, Social Prime, after Kelsey hired out an entire establishment for his friends and his family. Um, I just personally don't believe um swift is once again expected to be a regular attendee at the chiefs games this season as she travels around the country to support her man while also completing the final dates of her the pop superstar has no scheduled classes until week seven of the regular season meaning she could be in the stands for the chiefs game until October 20th. So, the reigning Super Bowl champion host uh, from the Cincinnati Bengals at Arrowhead, um, that's that's going to be the next game before a road game in it against the Atlanta Falcons. Okay. Um, I don't blame her. I wouldn't want to be around. And if it's true... I doubt if somebody of that that far apart on those that end of the spectrum really don't have a lot of conversation. Not at this time. Not not right now. It's too volatile. And um cuz it's a matter of somebody want to suppress your your uh, uh right and want to suppress democracy and do away with it all together. And somebody who at least is garden, garnering the support of the people. You make your choice. Because that's how I feel about it. Even though I know all politics are local, I still want to know how you feel about it. All right, with that being said, if you like what you hear, surprise, uh, subscribe, share the channel. And... um We'll see you in the next video.